Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe and I uh, want to do a quick pickups video. Sorry if I seem a little off, I've had a lot of um, personal stuff going on lately. And then I get home and my wife goes, the TV's not working. Tried a million different ways to fix it. It's dead. There's something wrong, I think the power board or something. So uh, it was a very cheap TV, so either we'll use one we have or we'll buy a new one on Prime Day. So. Um, just want to do a quick pickups video with some cool stuff I got recently for really good prices. Uh, the first thing I got was these two Funko Pops on Facebook Marketplace for free. I got the Gremlin Flasher, who my wife would probably tell you is like me. And then I got this little cool Jason that I've always really wanted and never had. Now I'm just keeping my eye out for Leatherface because he's my favorite. Jason's probably my second favorite. And, um,. I need to get the little J a little Leatherface Funko Pop, and there's a Leatherface 2 and 3. I want to get those, the little figures. Um, I went to the flea market the other day, and I picked up for a dollar Rob Van Dam, one of a kind. I'm a big RVD fan. He's probably one of my favorite ECW alum, along with Raven, Sabu, Dreamer, Sandman, you know, Bam Bam Bigelow. And uh, for a buck, I figured it had some old matches. It had some newer matches with him when he was in WWE, so it's a good ton of matches for a dollar. Um, I then picked up on eBay for a dollar fifty and four dollars shipping Jagged Alliance Rage. I haven't played Jagged Alliance since the computer back when I was about 17 or 16 years old. It's a tactical RPG military shooter. Um, sort of like the old Fallout games or Wasteland, XCOM, except it's just military based. I remember it being pretty good. I didn't beat it um, this one didn't get great reviews. They have a newer one now that's out, but for $6 with tax and shipping and everything, it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, I then went to a different to a GameStop, and I picked this up to play with my buddies who have jumped back into this. I no longer have it, and I don't have Game Pass, so I picked up Titanfall 2. This is um, a pretty fun first-person shooter with mechs that you can ride. And then I had mentioned this movie that I had ordered a little while ago. My buddy sent it the other day. He had forgotten to throw it in the box previously. Uh, the Jar. And I watched this recently. Um, it's a very trippy, weird, psychedelic, uh, strange film about a man who finds a demonic fetus in a jar and starts to go insane. If you're going to ever watch this movie, do not watch it on YouTube. It's cut it's blurry. You can hardly tell what's going on. It completely ruins the film. It's not some masterpiece of a film, but I really enjoyed it. Spoiler alert, I really enjoyed it. So check out my review that's coming out soon. But um, The Jar is a Blu-ray release by Terror Vision. It was supposedly one of the worst films of all time. That's definitely not the case. So this was really fun to watch yesterday. I enjoyed this. So yeah, got some cool little pickups, some free stuff from Facebook Market, and I'll eventually either get a new TV or just use one of my old ones and hook up a Fire Stick or something. So, uh, and, and a Blu-ray player, of course. So uh, guys, let me know if you've played any of these or seen any of these. Give me your input. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.